welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing the Stock Swoosh Show Live Trading Room Advanced Trader Tracking. I'll go over that risk in a little bit here, what that risk would you have to take per trade for 2021. These are the results so far year to date. It's been a good year. It's been an active year. All of January, and we're now February 15th, halfway through February 2. So a uh, month and a half into the year, 96,038. And again, it has been an active year. The market is rocking and rolling, and it also is earnings season too, which makes for a lot of good trades. So if you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. You can call me at 99 gap Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So right now it's earnings season, and it makes a good time to trade, specifically what I do, which is I do gaps. So whether it's equity trades, day trades, options trades, these are the results for day trades only in the live trading room, just so you know. I call the trades live. I call the entry, the stop, the exit. And gaps is what I do, and a lot of stocks gap on earnings. So that is the reason that I focus on gaps, because they have big moves. When you're an active trader, the only way you're going to make good money is if you get big moves in stocks. And we don't do any of those crappy things, like the low float stocks, the cheap stocks, all of those things. We do stocks that you know, that you can rely on, you feel comfortable with. They have volume. They have momentum. You know the companies. They report real earnings, okay? They're on all the exchanges. So it's been a good year. Uh, we started out the year with Boeing, which is kind of funny because that was like the number one short in 2020. Uh, Boeing was a winner. Then on the fifth, we did the spy that lost. We did the market a lot this year too for as day trades, which is which is unusual. But it's market set up. Uh, most of these trades, by the way, are also short. Some are longs, but I prefer to short for the day trades. The six we did two on Facebook that lost. BYND worked. It's another one that's fun to trade. Apple was a winner on the six. Seventh, two shot to the BYND. One long loser, one worked. I call that a retake. I go over that in the class. The eighth was Boeing. Nice trade, CCL as well. 11th was a crazy day. Twitter didn't work. Facebook didn't work. Boeing didn't work. And Twitter second trade didn't work or Facebook. VA break even. Then Facebook worked in Apple. It was a very long day. And you can see here the best days I have is usually one ticker symbol, which I prefer, one trade, or maybe two. Then we did Netflix for a good trade in CCL on the 12th. 13th was Boeing. Nice winner. Twitter was a winner on the 14th. Twitter's been a lot this year. Wells Fargo, WFC, was a big winner on the 15th. 18th closed for Martin Luther King Day. Twitter was a winner on the 19th. Netflix lost. And then the second one, Retake, was a winner. UAL was a winner on the 21st. Then IBM was a winner. Apple was a winner. Verizon was a winner. 27th was Boeing and the SPY, two winners. No trades on the 28th. SPY lost and Facebook winner. No trades on February 1st. Some days of nothing rates per my gap system, we don't do anything. So, you know, I never know when I get up in the morning until I see what the gap is and I rate it, which I'll explain about in a little bit here. UPS was a loser on the second. SPY was a winner. Q's, two trades, one loser, one winner. Breaking for the day on that. Fourth was QCOM winner. Fifth was a SPY, lost, break even, QCOM loser, and then another break even in the QCOM. Diamonds was a winner on the eighth. IBM was a loser on the ninth and Apple. Tenth was ACAM, lost, Twitter lost, and then the big Twitter winner. That was a trade that I doubled up on it and actually did a few ads in it. That is an advanced concept, which I go over in the advanced entries course. Anyways, long story short, that ended up being a very, very nice move of the Twitter, and that was a long. I'll explain that maybe another video at a different point in time, but it's an advanced concept. That's why the the loss and the gain was so big in that one because I did ads. It's like doubling up and doing several trades in one. The SPY was a loser on the 11th, and SAVE was a big winner on the 11th. And then on the 12th, Disney lost, IBM lost, but Twitter was a big winner. Beautiful, beautiful breakout bullish gap in Twitter on Friday the 12th. And man, that, that Twitter looks like it's really going to run. So an, an advanced trader risk is an average of $2,500 per trade. And again, some trades if I double up on them or take three risks in one, it's called an ad. That is an advanced concept, and I don't do that that often, but I will do it if the gap rate's extremely high. And again, I review that in the class. So the whole point of my system is I get up in the morning and I look at the trade. This was the same. This is a daily chart of same. And I see the gap. I don't predict where it's going to gap. I wait till it gaps. So this saved gap. What is a gap? The difference between the close and the open. Stop close to your gap down. And then I saw it in the morning, I rated it. I rated it using my 26 point rating system and that is how I determine what stock that I wanna trade on any given day. 
So again, it's something that I do in the pre-market and I have it all figured out before the market even opens. Very organized with that. Helps my confidence level too. I decide how much I wanna risk. And you will learn this in the Golden Gap course. Now, do you have to risk $2,500 in advanced risk in the trades to do the system or to even trade the system? The answer is no. You can use a beginner risk. I've been trying to show those examples in, in the emails and maybe I need to do a few PowerPoints on that. That's gonna take me some time to figure it out or, or get my assistant to do it. But I realize that not everyone can risk $2,500 a trade. It is not necessary to have that risk to, to use my system. And actually I've been at the same risk for a number of years, which I'm very comfortable with now. You have to use a risk you're comfortable with. It has to do with the size of your account and also your experience level. And I think anyone right after the class should use a beginner risk, but that's, that's totally up to you. If you get the hang of it right away is right after the class and you want to risk an advanced risk right after the class, which would even start out with around $1,000, 1500 um, If you want to risk that right after the class, then that's up to you. Again, I use stops and I call the stop in the room too. And for those of you that don't understand what I mean by, by risk versus cost of the position and buying power, I wanted to just talk about this a little bit here because I get this question a lot for people that don't understand margin. These are not cash positions. These are equity day trading positions on margin where you have a margin account. You can open up a, a, a margin account at a broker. And I just wanna explain here, a $40 stock price, for example, is 200 shares would be $8,000 in buying power. You don't need $8,000 cash to take a position like that. It's buying power, it's BP or margin or leverage that you get from the broker. You can trade it at a prop broker, you can trade it at a retail broker. And there's pluses and minuses to both of those, okay? The charts you can get anywhere. You can you can get charts pretty much at a charting system. You can get charts at a broker. You can make your charts look like mine wherever you want to trade. I have very, very clean charts. So it's not about that. It's where you choose to trade based on how much they're going to require you to put up for the account to get margin because you need margin really to day trade, to actively day trade. And every, every professional trader uses margin anyways. So anyways, getting back to what I was saying here, you can open up a proprietary day trading account to use margin with $2,500 and you can get 10 to one leverage. So you'd have 25,000 in buying power, okay? If the stock was a dollar your direction and you have 200 shares, you can make $200. $200 a day is $1,000 a week. So you absolutely can trade my system using a smaller risk than $2,500 a share. You can risk just like I said, $200 a trade, $200 a day. You can day trade with a beginner account and risk. The only difference is your share size is smaller and, and you, Base that off of the percentage of cash that you have in the account that you want to use per trade. And again, as I said, how uh, experienced you are trading, how familiar you are if you're new. You can grow a small account though into a larger account and it really doesn't have to take that long of a time. If you're focused and you're taking quality trades, you can build a $2,500 account up to a $5,000 account. You can build a $5,000 account up to a $10,000 account. You have to set your risk accordingly and follow your own rules. I think day trading is a fun experience because it offers you financial freedom where you can work for yourself. And right now in today's environment, we're into 2021. Again, the beginning of 2021, people are still working from home and they're looking for ways to make extra money. And trading is a nice way to do it because you can learn how to trade the system with me. You can be in the live room. You can do it in the morning. We only trade the morning. And we're done fairly quickly in the morning by 10.30, 11 o'clock the latest. Sometimes we're done by 10 a.m. Eastern time. And you can get on with your day, whatever you want to do. It's not like you have to sit at your desk for six and a half hours. So it's a nice way to make some extra money, especially, again, during these periods during COVID. A lot of people are still on lockdowns, depending on where you live in the world. But you can make money day trading. The system is called the Golden Gap Course. I, I created the system myself. When I started trading, and it took me three years, I teach it in a class about once a month. You would learn my system in the class. You cannot be in the live trading room unless you've taken the class. Everyone in the room has taken the class, understands the rating system, understands the gap, and understands the entries I'm calling as well. So the next class is February 27th and 28th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Cost of the class is $69.99 US dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. If you want to secure your spot, email me at Melissa at thestockswoosh.com to sign up. Okay, you want to make sure that you're signed up ahead of time to get in. And if you're interested in the combo, the trends course for March is March 2nd. 
So you save $500 by signing up for the combo at the same time that you sign up for the Golden Gap course. This is a great class for swing trades, options trades, and really to help your day trading, uh, to get better at your day trading. A lot of people don't realize it, but a lot of the calls that I make, you can do both as day trades and options, even in the room. So email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com for more information. And if you have any questions, or feel free to call and reach out. It's been a great year, and I'm looking forward to the rest of 2021. The best is yet to come.